morning, boys and girls. It is Tuesday, November 3rd. It's election day today. So you might hear buzzes about election stuff today, but we're going to focus on third grade because that's where we are and that's what's important in our lives right now. So if you would grab your morning workbook, please, morning workbook, and um, go to page 37. Um, we're going to correct that day. So let me get the camera going. There we are. Okay. All right. So we're going to put these prepositions from this word box into these sentences. So let's try the first one. The park is just below the grocery store, before the grocery store, over the grocery store or past the grocery store. Usually we'll say it's just past the grocery store. So we'll put in past. Oh, I can tell this pen is not going to survive. Um, let's try this one. Okay. Put on your gym shoes, blank beginning to exercise, below, before, or over. I think it would be before. The exit sign is blank the door to the playground. It is usually above a door or over the door. Mrs. Y, uh, Mrs. Yin, excuse me, keeps a box of stickers below her desk. All right, if you have any mistakes, go ahead and fix them. All right, so let's go to our multiplication. So five groups of 10, we would count by tens five times. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We're gonna write 50. Nine times 11, okay. Anytime nine is times one, it's that number, so nine, times that one, and nine times the second one, 99. Eight times nine, we can do our nines trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the eighth one down, and let's count our tens. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72. So it is 72. Okay. Six times eight. Now, if you know your sixes or you know your eights, then it might come right to you. But if you don't, let's try this. Let's go over here. This is called distributive property. We haven't gotten to it yet, but we will soon. If we know five times eight, because we can skip count by five, eight times, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So if I know that eight times five is 40, I need one more eight because it's six groups. So 40 plus eight is 48. Okay, zero times four is zero. Two times four is eight. Or you can count it 20, 40, 60, 80, counting by 20s. 1 times 46, anything times 1 will be that number, so it's 46. 0 times 2 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 way we can do uh, 15 times 3, we can do 15 plus 15 equals 30. That's 1, 2, we need 1 more, plus 15 is 45. All right, if you have any mistakes, go ahead and fix them. And if you need a minute, go ahead and push pause right now so you can finish that up. All right, we were reading about Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, excuse me, oopsie. Let me open that back up. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Brandon, 
finished his hot cocoa. Mmm, that was good, he said. He headed to his room. There he put on thick, warm pants. He pulled a wool sweater over the long sleeved shirt he was already wearing. Then he lifted each leg to step into his snowsuit. After that, he sat down and slipped on snug boots. Next, Brandon put on a thick coat. He wrapped a wool scarf around his neck and put on his thick, warm gloves. Mom, I'm just running out to get the mail from the mailbox, he yelled. What kind of place does Brandon live in? Okay. Brandon lives in a place that is cold and snowy. How do we know that? Because he has to bundle up to go outside. Okay. You might have something similar to that, but if you have something completely different than that, you might want to fix it and go, uh, you can copy my answer if you need to. Number two, would you want to be in the setting of the story? Tell why or why not? Well, maybe for a little while I would like to be there. So I could play in the snow. But I don't like to be cold very much. All right, that's my answer. You can put down your answer. There's my answer. All right, again, if you need to pause this, to get any of this down, make sure you push pause now. And then when you unpause, we're going to be working on page 38. Okay. Page 38 is the page we're on today. And so I'm going to go over it and then you're going to work on it and then we'll correct it tomorrow. Fix my book. It's kind of falling apart there. Okay. On page 38, under language, it says, read the sentence circle the preposition. All right. So a preposition is going to connect parts of the story. So Shelly puts peanut butter between two bread slices. Okay. Where does she put it? Between. So there's your preposition there. So give the others a try. I'm going to read them for you. Jasmine got crackers from the cupboard. Fred pours oats into the bowl. The salt and pepper shakers are beside each other. Dale scrapes crumbs off his plate. Angel moves the sponge around the sink. All right, number seven. <clears throat> In February, oh, to solve the problem, show your work. So this is where we're going to show our work. In February, Townsville, Townville got five inches of, ten, of let's start over. Oh, my goodness. Oh, deep breath, Mrs. Martinez. In February, Townville got five inches of rain. If Townville gets the same amount of rain every month, how much rain will it get during 12 months of a full year? So, every month they've gotten five inches of rain in February. If they got five inches of rain in every single month, for an entire year, how much rain would that be? How many inches of rain? Show your work on this spot right here. And then down below, read the text, answer the question. The question says, does the picture go with the setting of the story? Tell why or why not? So it looks like we have some people that are feeding a, a monkey. Looks like we're in a jungle place somewhere. So let's go ahead and read it and see if the picture goes with the setting. Kalo and his cousin Talo live in the rainforest. They love it there. The rainforest has many plants and animals. The boys plant seeds to grow food. They help their older family members build huts. Sometimes they explore the forest. They feed birds, monkeys, and lizards, and collect bugs. They even swim. The rainforest has everything they need. Does the picture go along with the story? If it does, how do you know? If it doesn't, how do you know? 
All right, guys, that's what you're going to be working on today. You've corrected your morning work and you're starting on the next page. And I um, will go ahead and see you in, I'm going to try to see you. Try to see you right here. Oh, sometimes we just have to chuckle. Okay. I will see you in vocabulary. That's what I was going to tell you. I will see you in vocabulary. Thank you.